Hello. So, now that we have learned specific techniques for proving similarity, such as angle-angle, side-angle-side, and side-side-side, we can now use all of these techniques to solve a greater deal of problems. So, let's tackle this problem, which seems to be more complex than the ones we've looked at in the past. It says in the diagram that DE is parallel to BC, and the segments have the lengths shown in the diagram. Find X, Y, and Z. So the first notable thing it tells you in the problem is that DE and BC are parallel. And whenever you think parallel lines, you should think congruent angles. For example, the angle EDC, right here, must be congruent with DCB because they are alternate interior. Similarly, DEB must be congruent with FBC because they are also alternate interior, which means we have two similar triangles. We have the triangle DEF which is then similar to the triangle C, B, F. Now we can write a couple ratios out. And the reason I'm picking these two triangles in particular is because, well, we immediately found they're similar. And they have the side lengths that we need to eventually find, X and Y. So one ratio we could do would be DE over BC and that could be equal to uh, DF and CF which is also equal to uh, EF and BF. So, with all that having been done, let's try to find or substitute in some values. So, DE is 45 and BC is X. That will be equal to DF, DF being 27, and CF being Y. Then finally we have EF, EF being 45, wait no, sorry, EF is 36, and BF is 64. Well, 36 over 64 is definitely a reducible fraction. And we can reduce that into, well, they're both would reduce down to 9. over 16. because they are both divisible with 4. So, what can we do from there? Well, we can now solve for at least one of the variables, x or y. I'm going to start with y. So we got 27 and y. Now I will multiply by y on both sides to get that 27 is equivalent to 9 sixteenths y. And then after some more simplification, we get that y is equivalent to 
Um, well, the if you think 27 divided by 9 gets you 3, then you simply have to multiply that with the 16, and you will get that that should be 48. One second. 48. That is one of our values. Okay, now let's try for x. So, we have 45 over x equals 9 over 16. I'm going to multiply x on both sides to get 45 equals 9 over 16x. Then we can simplify that even further. Well, if we notice, 45 divided by 9 would get us 5. So we have 5 times 16 equals x. I would, that's multiplying the 16 over and dividing the 9. And from there, we get that. Hold on one second. x is equal to, well, 5 times 10 is 50, plus 5 times 6, 30, which gets us 80. Okay, so we have two of the variables we need. Now we just have to find z. Well, z is all the way out here in this triangle by itself, uh, A, E, E, D. Well, is there anything I can do? Well, the good thing about parallel lines is that they work in a lot of different ways and you can get plenty of results. So, one of the results I could get is the fact that this angle here, the one with the mark, must be the same as this angle here with the mark because they are corresponding angles on a parallel line and I can do the same thing over here with a two marked angle and over here again with another two marked angle and then hence we get angle angle similarity once more so triangle A D E, we have discovered now is similar to triangle A, B, C. Now, I'm trying to find Z. Now, that means one of the ratios I'm going to use is going to be the one with AC. Let's, let's use that one, uh, AC. And that larger side would correspond with a E in the smaller triangle and that must be equal to well I know that one of the side lengths of ABC is X which seems to be unknown however we've just discovered that that is 80 so I can actually well I'll actually just write it out I'm going to pick uh, BC and that matches with DE and finally we would have uh, a B over a D which isn't going to help us since we don't know the measures of a B over a D but we do know like I just kind of spoiled we know that BC is the same value as X which is 80 and DE is 45. That hence is equal to AC. Now AC is the length of Z plus 60. And that is all over the length of AE which is just Z. And now we can actually use this to solve for Z. Now how do I go about doing that? Well I'm going to keep 
the z plus 60 over z. And I can realize um, that 80 over 45 definitely simplifies. So 80 over 45, well, that's the same thing we had before, but kind of in reverse, the same reduction will happen where we get that that is 16 over 9. 16 over 9. Both values being divisible with 5. And sorry, this should be a Z. Now I am going to, I'll just quickly, since I'm running out of space, cross multiply to get 9z plus 540 equals 16z. Now that can just simplify if we subtract the 9z on both sides we should be getting 7z equals 540 and then finally our answer becomes z equals and it's not going to reduce nicely so or at all really so I'm just going to put 540 over 7 and hopefully that doesn't get cut off in the video but that ends us ends up getting us all three of the variables that we wanted x y and z